Okay, so I'll save all the changes and preview that in Firefox. And as you can see, there's a big horizontal line underneath. And if you did want to add any more um, links to that, you can add them as extra list items. Now we're going to use that horizontal line, the bottom line, to create the illusion of individual tabs. So now back in Dreamweaver, I'm going to give a width attribute, a width property of 630 pixels to the navbar pound holder. And I'm going to give a little bit of a padding on the left just to make it symmetrical on both sides, 25 pixels, and then you've got the horizontal line appearing on the bottom left as well. So I'll just go up to the navbar div, and I'll give that a width of 660 pixels. That'll get us close enough to the width there. Okay. All right, so it's time to style the links so that they show up as individual tabs on each individual web page. So if we've got a home page or a products page, uh, we want the tab to be white and signify that we're on that page. So we do that by creating an anchor link. So I'm going to take the first link here, which is the home link, and inside the opening ahref uh, brackets, I'm going to type an ID of on link. So I've now given the home link an ID of on link and you can see the little anchor bar appears there now by doing that we're going to style it so that it shows up as an individual white tab like this products page here so uh, we'll go in and we are going to create a style for that on link ID and that ID style will be interchangeable so we can remove it from one link and apply it to another link depending on what page we want to show up with the um, tabbed effect Okay, so let's add the styling for that now. As you see, we've got the home link here with the ID of on link. So we're going to create a selector pound holder U L L I A pound on link. So that's the link with an ID of on link that we're styling. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a background color. So we're going to make it white. So I'm going to type in background colon and it's going to be FFF. Okay, I'm also going to add a text color and I'm going to make the text color black. So I'm going to type in color colon pound zero 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 and that with a semicolon. And we're going to put a bottom border in, but this time we're going to make the border white. So it's going to create an illusion of a tabbed effect. So that's border dash bottom colon one pixel solid and pound FFF, the shorthand code for white. Okay, so we can see it's already turned to that white color now because the ID of onlink has been attached to the home link. So there it is, and there it is different from the rest of the links. So when we hover over the other links, they'll show up in orange. Okay, so we're doing really well. We've almost got our horizontal tabbed menu finished. Um, there's a few more changes I'd like to make. The home link there, as you see, the rollover effect shows up in orange. I'd kind of like that to be white also for when it rolls over. And we can make an inverted text color change instead. So we'll make the text roll over a different color. So we'll go back into the CSS styling. I'm going to go pound holder UL LI A pound on link and then the pseudo hover selector. So that's colon hover and we're going to change the background color. So we'll set background colon white and we'll set a text color and we'll make the text color the same as the other links. So that'll be color colon pound 69F and that should create a nice little effect there. We'll also add a text shadow while we're here. So we'll type in text dash shadow one pixel one pixel one pixel and we'll make that pound zero 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 semicolon okay so I'm going to save all the changes and preview our menu in Firefox and I think the link looks so much better to have that rollover effect for just the text and instead of the orange now we still retain all of the other link style ability for all of the other links the orange rollovers there okay so if we go down into the properties inspector and once you have the home link selected, you'll see that it says ID of on link. So if we change that to none, it will take that link styling off. So it will change back to its blue color. And if we click inside the products link and change that to on link, it will then apply the white styling to that link instead. So let's preview that in a browser and see what that looks like. Okay, so you can really see how we can interchange that link on each individual page to give the impression to the web visitor that they're on that particular page. 
Okay, so if I click inside the Home tab now, I'm going to create a link down below and it will be a link called home.html and we're going to create individual web pages so we can cross link. Okay, so I've clicked inside Products, I'm going to call that products.html, click inside the Services link and I'm going to call that services.html, gallery, gallery.html and contact.html and what we're going to do is we're going to copy the original uh, file and we're going to duplicate it another four times and then we'll rename all those pages so that we can check the links to make sure they work correctly. So I'm going to click inside my tab menu.html I'm going to change that to products because it's on that particular link at the moment and I'm going to control D and I'm going to do that four times that's control D to duplicate so I'm going to click inside of each link and I'm going to rename each link. So I'm going to name this one home.html. I'm going to click inside this link and call that services.html. And I'll click inside of this link gallery.html and finally contact.html. Now once you've finished renaming all of your pages there to the individual web pages, well we're going to need to go into each page and change where the on link ID styling goes. So for instance if I've clicked inside the home link I need to change the products link to none for the ID and change the home link to the ID of on link. Okay so now that page is signified as the home page and we'll close that and save the changes and then click inside of another one of those web pages and change that one. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay so I'm going to continue doing that now and we're going to keep going until I've finished all of those. Okay so I've now changed all the links on my web pages and I've added a margin left and top just to bring the menu out into the middle of the browser window. Okay so here's our pretty much finished effects and you see when you click on each web page, each web page link it opens up that particular web page that we created there and that's fantastic. Okay now here's your square tabbed menu if you want to have a rounded corners menu we just need to add a simple line of code or two lines of code into the link. So I'm going to go to pound navbar pound holder ULLIA and at the very bottom I'm going to add a dash moz uh, property which will give us our rounded corners so I'm going to type in dash moz dash border dash radius dash top left colon 15 pixels and I'm going to do the same for the top right now I'm not going to add the WebKit uh, rounded corners prefix here for Chrome and Safari but I will leave a link in the below bar for you to go to my website and there will be full instructions of how to do that. But here's our finished tab menu as you can see rounded edges on the top it looks really good very professional stylish design. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial it's James and this is dreamweavertutorial.co.uk and I'll see you in the next tutorial.